Welcome to Canvas Projects, a virtual program offering from the Pflugerville Public Library. I'm Meg Miller, an adult services librarian, here with another fun project geared to ages 12 and up for you to complete. Those who registered through the library calendar can pick up their material supply kits, and for what everyone else watching, we hope you give these techniques a try. This month's project is supplies being provided. We used the gallon uh, Ziploc bags this month, so we've got our uh, supplies included. Uh, you are getting an 8x10 canvas. Hopefully you have not already opened your kit or are just doing it. Um, wrapped around your canvas is your piece of cling wrap, so don't remove that until you're ready to start. Um, if you already have, consider using your plastic bag and cutting it open to use as the plastic over or trying to get back your plastic wrap or even getting another piece of plastic wrap. Uh, the paints we have, we've given three colors. Uh, this month we are using the Sargent Art Acrylic. They are the spectral, so spectral blue, spectral orange, and spectral yellow. So those are some nice bright colors we're going to use. Um, you also have a craft stick in there. I did notice as I was just to try and hide. So if you don't see your craft stick in your bag, check the inside of your canvas underneath the in between the wood and the canvas itself. And so we'll see, I've actually used a little bit of uh, tape in order to get the cling wrap to stick and stay and not hopefully bunch up. So I'm going to slowly remove my two little pieces of masking tape there, bring my cling wrap around. Gently, I always get this all bunched up when I'm trying to get it out of the box. Pull my canvas off. So there's my cling wrap that I will use for later. I do have a little bit of bunching, but I can try and pull it apart, holding it down with one hand. Um, and I'm going to set this aside. Actually make use of my tape and just kind of tape it to the side of my desk. And um, you'll see that I have, do have a little bit of paper just down in case I get any paint um, around. So make your choice as to whether you would like to um, put something down to protect your workspace or clean up paint afterwards. Um, so in order to start this one, um, we've got our canvas here, we've got our paints, we've got our craft stick. This is another wonderful project where you really, um, you can think of like a particular pattern um, but remember, when we put the cling wrap on, we're going to get kind of a blending and a mashing. Um, so definitely, uh, you'll have a little bit more leeway in your design. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and open my three paints. These paint pots are a little bit bigger than our normal size, so you do have quite a lot of paint. You might not need to put it all down. But if you do and you have um, kind of some leftover on your cling wrap when you pick it up, which you will, uh, you'll be able to do kind of a bonus print. So if you've got some paper, some just extra paper laying around, or even another, another canvas, if you watch this video first and then do your project um, and you get an extra canvas, you could actually make kind of a set um, or even smaller canvases, you could make multiples. Um, so I am just going to start scooping some of my paint onto the canvas and I'm just going to do kind of all around Get some blue back up here. I'm not going all the way to the edge, although I'm going fairly close uh, because with the cling wrap, I will be able to push the paint towards the edge. Oh, let's go another blue, nice blue line right here. All right, so your craft stick is going to give you two sides. Um, obviously, one side you are going to ultimately use will already have paint on it unless you decide to get another, if you've got another craft stick or a, even a toothpick or a disposable spoon handles, plastic cutlery type. All right. And I do have an extra craft stick, one that didn't quite make it into one of the bags. So I'm going to use this guy and I'm going to come in all of this with my orange. 
orange everywhere. Oh, up here in the corner. So I'm really using the craft stick to kind of scrape the sides. to my other two colors. Oh yeah, there we go. Still a lot left in that blue. Alright, I got a little bit of yellow left in here. Alright, so I've got my paint down on canvas. You can see I've just kind of gone for any any type of design here. Set my paint off to the side. Now I'm going to get my cling wrap back out. Being very gentle, um, I am going to attempt to remove some of the masking tape. I'm just going to tear off the little extra pieces. All right, and again, I'm not too worried about it crinkling up, um, really, because I'm going to be doing some of that. So I'm just bringing my my cling wrap right over my canvas, laying it down, and I'm just going to start pushing my paint all around. Part of the decision for my original example to go with a smaller amount of paint was to give us a little bit of that white space still in here. Um, then we can come back later if you've got um, markers or even stickers or other paint left over from other projects um, and come in and add some really cool little design elements. So I'm just pushing, if I feel any kind of puddles of paint, pushing them around so that I've got kind of a smooth coverage. And then here's going to be the really fun part. I think I've got it pretty good. I've got this pretty close to the edge on this side here, we can see. Just gently, and you see I'm using one hand to kind of hold so that my cling wrap doesn't move too far before I want it to. Oh, there's a good pile there. All right, so I could just leave it like this, peel my cling wrap off. I'm going to peel forward for purposes of the video so there we go and we're starting to get some colorations but I've got a fair amount of paint on this cling wrap so I'm actually going to twist it to the opposite side come back down lay back down on my canvas and do the same and this time I'm going to use a little bit of a swirl kind of motion and I'm going to get some more of that like color almost like a tie-dye look and I can do this a few times. We see I've got some paint over here, kind of come at a diagonal, or maybe if I really want to make sure pieces, white pieces of my canvas definitely get paint. I'm going to come back up here, but now again, there's my paint on the table because I'm getting a little crazy now. So I want to make sure that I've got my table space protected. Otherwise, I'll be doing a lot of paint cleanup. So the more I do this, the more my colors really start to blend. Um, so I want to kind of make a choice as to how far I want to go with that. I do like this. I've got a few spots where I might try to just get, oh yeah, there we go. And then let's see, I've got a little bit of blue paint right here on this corner. I'm going to try and bring it down up here in this corner. Just tapping. Oh yeah, there we go at that blue. Oh, that looks awesome. And then I'm going to set that aside to dry my canvas there. Let's see, my cling wrap's starting to get a little bit pulled together, so I'm not sure I'm going to get much of a print with mine. Gently pulling it, stretching it out, kind of going around the square. All right, there we go. Oh, oh no. Sure, that will probably happen to you. Now I'm going to lay down on the paper, gently pushing with my hands. A little pat, pat, pat. All right, let's pull up and see what we get. 
Oh, yeah. If you came to our Crafty Cafe a few months ago when we were doing gel prints, this is a similar um, where the cling wrap kind of almost acts as the jelly plate where we get all our designs and stuff on there. So there's my extra little pull from my cling wrap. Really starting to get into kind of some, some browns and some very interesting colors in there. And then here is my cling wrap canvas. I think that's a lot of really cool pops of blue and the big orange. I love how that blue and green or the blue and yellow really pulled that green. It almost gives it like maybe an impressionistic kind of field of flowers and whatnot um, look to it. So as always, we love to see the way your projects come out. We hope you enjoyed this canvas project and we look forward to next month. Thanks for watching.